Our sun burns at a scorching 5,700 degrees Celsius, blasting energy across 93 million miles of space. Without it, Earth would be a frozen wasteland within days. Pretty powerful, right? Well, not really. Because out there in the depths of space, our sun is just a baby. There are stars hundreds, even thousands of times bigger. Monsters that could swallow our sun whole. So, what if we replaced our sun with one of them? What would happen? Would we even survive? Let's find out. Our first contender is Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our sun. It's a red dwarf, meaning it's small, dim, and relatively cool. At only 0.14 times the size of the sun, this star wouldn't exactly command the small presence in our sky. Its mass is just 12% of the sun's, meaning its gravitational pull would be much weaker. And with a surface temperature of just 3,000 degrees Celsius, this star is barely warm enough to keep Earth from freezing solid. If we swapped our sun for Proxima Centauri, Earth would need to be moved 20 times closer just to stay warm. That would put us inside Mercury's current orbit, a little too close for comfort. But even if we got the positioning right, Proxima Centauri is a violent little star. Unlike our calm sun, this thing is temperamental, throwing massive solar flares that could blast Earth with deadly radiation, stripping away our atmosphere in the process. That said, Proxima Centauri does have one advantage. It's ridiculously long-lived. While our sun will last about 10 billion years, Proxima Centauri will burn for 4 trillion years. So if your biggest concern is outliving the universe, this is your star. You'll just have to live in perpetual twilight, while the sky occasionally tries to fry you alive. Alright, let's go bigger. Meet Pollux, an orange giant that's twice as massive as our sun. Now we're talking. The radius of 6.2 million kilometers, Pollux is nearly 9 times larger than our sun. Its mass, however, is 1.9 times greater, which would make it slightly more gravitationally intense. Its temperature sits at 4,660 degrees Celsius, meaning it's a bit cooler than our sun, but still warm enough to sustain life. If we replaced our sun with this golden beast, Earth would need to shift further out to avoid being too close and overheating. But if we got that right, we'd be in for something pretty spectacular. Imagine looking up at the sky and seeing a permanent golden glow. Every hour of the day would look like a sunset deep oranges, warm yellows, and no more harsh blue light. Forget golden hour, hello golden day. And the best part, unlike Proxima Centauri, Pollux is stable, no deadly flares, no random explosions. But it wouldn't last forever, in about 700 million years, Pollux would start expanding even more before eventually dying off. That's not ideal, but hey, we've got time. If you thought Pollux was big, wait until you meet Arcturus. This red giant is 25 times bigger than the sun, with a radius of 17.8 million kilometers. Despite its massive size, Arcturus is actually less dense than our sun, meaning it only has 1.1 times the sun's mass. Its surface temperature sits at 4,300 degrees Celsius, giving it a deep, eerie red glow. If we replaced our sun with Arcturus, Mercury and Venus would be completely incinerated. And Earth? We might just barely survive, but only if we moved further out. But even if we did, Earth wouldn't feel the same. The sky would glow a deep, eerie red all day long, making every landscape look like it was straight out of a Martian horror movie. No more bright blue skies, no more white clouds, just red everywhere. And then there's the issue of lifespan. Arcturus is old, it's running on borrowed time. In less than 100 million years, it'll burn through the last of its fuel and collapse. So unless you enjoy living in a gothic sci-fi nightmare, maybe let's not swap with this one. Let's crank it up a notch. Meet Regal, a blue supergiant that makes our sun look like a birthday candle. This monster of a star has a radius of 54 million kilometers, a staggering 78 times the size of our sun. But it's not just big. It's dense and heavy, packing 21 times the sun's mass into its glowing blue core. And if you thought our sun was hot, think again. Regal's surface temperature reaches a blistering 11,000 degrees Celsius, 
nearly twice as hot as the sun. So what happens if we swap out the sun for the cosmic powerhouse? The sheer radiation and heat from Regal would vaporize Mercury, Venus, and Mars instantly. And Earth wouldn't be far behind. Even if we moved Earth's orbit to Pluto, it still wouldn't be safe. Regal's luminosity is 120,000 times greater than our sun's, meaning even at the edge of the solar system, we'd be blinded by searing neon blue light. Our planet would be permanently overexposed. The oceans would boil away and the surface would be completely sterilized. But even if, by some miracle, we figured out how to survive, there's another problem. Unlike our sun, which will burn for a comfortable 10 billion years, in just 7 million years, it'll collapse under its own weight and explode in a violent supernova, unleashing an amount of energy so powerful it could outshine an entire galaxy. Verdict? You wouldn't even get the chance to regret your decision. Earth would be gone in an instant. Now let's talk about Betelgeuse, a star so big, so unstable, that it might explode in our lifetime. This red supergiant is an absolute monster, stretching 764 times wider than our sun. If we put it in the sun's place, it wouldn't just swallow Mercury and Venus, it would completely engulf Earth, Mars, and Jupiter too. We wouldn't even be an orbiting planet anymore, we'd be inside the star. But let's pretend for a second that Earth miraculously survives outside its fiery outer layers. Would we be okay? Not even close. For starters, the sky would be terrifying, glowing deep red like an apocalyptic sunset. Everything on Earth would be bathed in dim, eerie light, and temperatures would skyrocket. And then there's the biggest problem. Betelgeuse is about to die. Scientists estimate that within the next 100,000 years, it'll go supernova. And when it does, it'll unleash an explosion seen throughout the galaxy, sending a deadly shockwave across the cosmos leaving behind a neutron star even worse, a black hole. So swapping our sun for Betelgeuse? Yeah, not a great idea. Now let's end with the biggest star we know, V.Y. Canis Majoris. This hypergiant is so enormous that if we put it where the sun is, it would swallow everything up to Saturn. Its 1 billion kilometer radius makes it 1,500 times the size of our sun. And while its mass is only 17 times greater, its sheer volume makes it one of the largest stars ever discovered. But let's say by some miracle, Earth isn't completely engulfed. Could we survive? Once again, not a chance. The heat and radiation alone would scorch our planet beyond recognition. Oceans would boil away, and the atmosphere would be stripped into space. And even if we somehow clung to life, we wouldn't have long. The UI Canis Majoris is a dying giant burning through fuel at an insane rate. In just a few million years, it'll collapse in one of the most powerful supernovas in the galaxy, obliterating everything around it. Swapping our sun for this monster? We wouldn't just be doomed, we'd be erased. So what's the best choice? Maybe Pollux, it's bigger, brighter, and somewhat stable. The worst, any supergiant. They either swallow Earth whole or explode in a fiery apocalypse. Turns out our sun is perfect, not too big, not too small, just right. Would you trade it for a giant burning star? Or is our boring little sun the best thing that ever happened to us? You decide. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this deep dive into cosmic destruction, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us out more than you think. Got a wild what if question burning in your mind? Drop it in the comments. Who knows, your idea might just be the next video. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more mind-blowing trips through space, science, and the unknown. See you in another one soon.